Artificial intelligence is used by virtually every company across multiple applications and regulators in the EU, in uh, Asia, especially China, in the United States are going to be cracking down. Now, that won't have an impact in 22 itself. That'll probably spill over and enforcement will take until 2023. But expect a number of technologies to be restricted, fined, or even banned outright. Worse for companies in the technology space, there's likely to be a regulatory patchwork with what is being allowed in one jurisdiction forbidden entirely in another. Navigating that uh, jigsaw puzzle will be a minefield, especially for cloud companies. Absolutely. A patchwork of regulations is the worst thing that can happen in a globalized world, isn't it? And I'm also wondering, I mean, if you're, if you're the company being regulated, regulation is often seen as a bad word. But for some people, like investors, regulation can be a good word because it might mean a more sustainable, safer and more level playing field in terms of that particular sector. Which one would you be going for, good or bad? It probably starts out bad and ends up good in the early days complying with multiple possibly conflicting regulatory regimes will be a headache. Uh, however, over the long run, having clear and more precise rules is a good thing for technology companies. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot easier to drive on the road if there's clear lane markings on the pavement. Uh, so uh, I think uh, in that way, regulation can be a positive, but that probably takes a couple of years to get there. Hi, Duncan. Did you get any insight as to why technology predictive algorithms, et cetera, failed us, failed to spot the pandemic, failed to spot all these supply chain disruptions. What were the lessons learned, do you think, and can uh, big data uh, redeem itself moving forward? Uh, part of the problem, of course, with predictive algorithms is they use a technique called machine learning, which trains on existing data. You can't predict the uh, arrival of a viral variant more than, you know, uh, until it gets started. And that's simply not possible for predictive algorithms. What I think a more interesting question is, why didn't we predict that we were ill prepared for a pandemic? Oh, wait, we did. There are literally dozens of reports that have come out over the last uh, couple of decades saying that the world is generally unprepared for any kind of widespread and infectious disease. Uh, we actually knew that. We we, we knew that as a result of, of predictive algorithms as well as other studies. It's simply that we didn't listen to the warning. The, 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 the version is not that the little boy failed to cry wolf. It's, it's that he did cry it and we just didn't listen.